नमस्कार इंडिया वाले एंड गुड इवनिंग वर्ल्ड यस दिस इज त्रिशा मुखर्जी योर जहेती होस्ट ऑफ कोर्स दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग लाइव ऑन फेसबुक विद नन अदर दैन डॉक्टर एल सुब्रमण्यम सो वेलकम डॉक्टर सुब्रमण्यम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नमस्ते प्लेजर टू बी वंडरफुल वंडरफुल आई वांट टू जस्ट बिफोर वी इवन बिगिन आई वाज टोल्ड माय 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 मदर एंड माय सिस्टर the doctor subramaniam is a very sweet spoken person but <laughs> and uh, while i was researching through your work uh, what you have done your contribution um, and i hardly found that you spoke all you spoke was through your work so dr subramaniam we would uh, we would like to uh, have our listeners and viewers know a bit about you about the journey that you have taken so far sure i studied from my father he was my guru and teacher basically in early in the 1930s 40s he went to sri lanka to be a visiting professor okay because he came violin was basically an accompanying instrument he wanted to change it to a solo instrument status he believed that it is has to be played in all the major parts of all the cricket center all the major major places so it cannot be restricted to only india or accompanying a vera so he went there and developed a lot of techniques and he taught us my brother brothers and sisters so i was drawn uh, i was uh, wanted to be like a father i wanted to play like him wanted to compose and things like that So I went into music. Even though I, everybody had to study, my father wanted me to study. All of us to study. I went to Madras Medical College, graduated as a medical doctor. Then I came here to do my master. You completed your MBBS. MBBS. Registered as a dental practitioner. Then came here, did my masters in Western music. Then I did my PhD in music. Well, that was Doctor uh, El Subramaniam, and uh, we just heard uh, Doctor's journey from science. Science, I think, always it's never going to leave uh, you, because I also have read somewhere that you said that music is like an ocean. So the more you're into it, and the more you realize that how little you know. How little you know. So, Doctor, fusion work, your jazz, different kind of work. Are we going to listen to it more of it? And how are you going to um, give this to our next generation? So, couple of things. One, I mean, there are different kinds of music uh, all over the world. Even in the West, they have Western classical, jazz. They have, you know, rock, pop, and different crossovers. In India, also, fortunately. We have one of the greatest cultures of uh, classical music, but also other systems like gazals and Bollywood, and uh, you can name it, you know, spiritual music. Mm -hmm. Every music has its own charm, it has its own depth, its own approach, and it don't follow us. And Bollywood is one of the biggest uh, following it has all over the world, which has also put India in a world map because of the Bollywood and uh, the folk scene. As far as our classical system, what is very very important for all the parents to realize that music is not a distraction. We generally we feel that whenever we want our children says, "I want to be a musician," we say, "No, no, but what profession do you want to do?" Because we don't think music is a profession. Correct. So we have to understand that music is also a profession. And second thing, without music and culture, I mean. Our life will be so different. We won't be tapped into our own tradition, our own spirituality. We cannot segregate music from spirituality, Correct. especially in our tradition. The spirituality and our culture, our the, the whole history of India, from Indus Valley civilization to where we have come, it is all one of the oldest cultures in the world, and also the steep traditions, music, and different ways of uh, going forward in life. It's a complete holistic approach. Which, in order to continue, the parents should also encourage all the children. You know, you just learn. If you don't want to become a profession, doesn't matter. But by learning music, what do you get basically? What do we teach in music? You 
take seven notes in the raga. Right. And you are taught to improvise for one hour with just basic seven notes. The combination of these notes put together in different spaces, different styles. And these notes are put together with that, changing the dynamic, changing the combination, we will try to improvise for one hour. It's nothing but a spontaneous creativity. So once we develop the creativity in the human mind for the children, this creativity can be applied to anything you do, in any field you do. If as long as people and everybody realizes music will enhance the creativity, there's other part of the brain which works for music. Right. So it's very important to make the next generation also get the benefit of music. In our own way, we have uh, have institutions at uh, Sapa Supreme Academy of Performing Arts. Can you repeat that, Doctor? Uh, Sapa, we call Sapa. It, which is Subramaniam Academy of Performing Arts. Subramaniam Academy, Academy of Performing Arts, yeah, Sapa. Which was started early 2007. There is a boutique school where we teach children for three and a half years. And there is also this, we have convinced a lot of uh, schools, my daughter Bindu and Ambi has been working in, I mean it's a lot of schools to have this uh, music as a, not as an optional thing, as a regular study. So Bindu and Ambi has been uh, a lot of students are studying in school music as a subject. I've just launched a BA Honours in Music. The whole system of uh, learning in India when you go to college is more theory oriented, 80% theory. 20% practical. That is one of the reasons why we have not had any great artists coming out of yeah. any institution in India. You take either the Yamas Blakshmi, Bismillah Khans, or, or any great artist you take, they were all from a teacher, they studied from a teacher. Correct. Individually, the method of teaching was different. They had more of a practical experience and book experience. You can become a great theory person by reading books, you want to be a performer. From a guru and practice. So, for the first time in India, we have started through Lakshmana a Global Center of Excellence with Jain University. Where uh, Lakshmana Global Center, we are, I have designed the whole uh, syllabus for the practical approach to music with some of my colleagues and my children. Of course, Kavita is also involved in it. Where 80% will be practical. 80% will be practical. 20% theory. And we are also continuing so to MA and PhD. So anybody who wants to be a PhD in performance, which we don't have, right. we are going to continue and do that. So there are certain innovative things we are doing. So the culture, music, practical aspect of the music will be uh, enhanced and also give us more opportunity to do focus on it. We are hoping to produce more great artists from institutions also as a social problem. Very beautiful, Doctor. That is a very uh, beautiful and a very helpful piece of information through SAPA. And uh, how beautifully you said that, uh, yes, we are, we go to uh, st uh, higher studies. And it is mostly the system that we follow is 80% theory and 20% practical. Right. Yeah. But what you are trying to do here is that you are actually making uh, in reality, the student go through the practical, more of a practical. And there's another thing uh, you mentioned, which I would want um, all my viewers and listeners also to uh, keep a note of that. You very beautifully said that it is, the onus is on us as parents, as uh, the, the, as guardians, or if we, we have to create that environment. We have to develop that interest. Right. At our uh, Lakshmanarana Global Center of Excellence, yes. specifically created for higher studies, higher starting with BA Honours Music to MA and PhD, and also people who want to be educators. We are collaborating with uh, SAPA and the Islamian Academy and a few other organizations where mm -hmm. they can also become ethnomusicologists. But the whole view of Lakshmanarana Global Center of Excellence was to create opportunities for musicians who want to be practical musicians. Correct. And get still make their BA, MA, and PhD. Very nice. Very nice. And is there a website that. Uh, yeah, it's uh, LGCE, Lashmanarana Global Center of Excellence, 
It is a collaboration with Jain University in Bangalore. Jain University. It's a Dean University. L-G-C-E. Lakshminarayana Global Center of Excellence. Of Excellence. Lakshminarayana Global Center of Excellence. And uh, so I believe many of my viewers, many of our listeners as well, they are aware that uh, Dr. Subramaniam is here and also we have Kavita Krishnamurti ji with us and we have, uh, we are going to witness uh, this one of a kind uh, symphony orchestra that you have uh, designed, you have produced, you have composed uh, a bit on that, which is going to take place uh, this Saturday, uh, August 18th at 6 p.m. at the East Brunswick Middle School, JMPAC. So, could you tell us a little bit about that? This is a special concert planned and organized by Art and Beat. Art and Beat. We have been working to teach, uh, give workshops mm -hmm. for a few years in the past. And this year, we in addition to the workshop, also we are doing a professional concert with the chamber orchestra, which I think they will be doing two special pieces, which I have written. One is a global symphony, which Kavita will be singing. Okay. The other one is Nada Priya, which I have written, which I will be playing with the chamber orchestra. That is Nada? Nada Priya. Nada Priya. Nada Priya. In addition to that, there will be Bollywood and Beyond segment where Kavita will sing in the Food Global Fusion and the children of Art and Beat and their own musical uh, presentation is also there and Devisha is going to be playing the Valdi with the orchestra. Yeah. And there is other uh, program which I think you get a better information from Kavita. <laughs> yes, definitely yeah, because I have had the pleasure of having uh, the, or the creators, the brainchild of uh, the Art and Beat, Akashik and Rumela on my show um, about a couple of weeks ago and uh, we learned their work, what they are doing for the community, for the younger generation, for the youth and um, uh, since we have audience, uh, people got to know that there are so many great things going on. So Art and Beat and I personally am very thankful to Art and Beat for providing this opportunity that we are going to have this. I had been a part uh, last year as well, and amazing. And that's how we have you here, and you're doing all these uh, workshops for these uh, children. Yes. I'll and be I really believe your what you say is that you do not have to be perfect. You just have to feel it from here and do it. I think once they keep on doing it, and then they get to the perfection. Any case. Wonderful. We are very very interesting very talented students who are working with us. We are very happy about it. Very nice. Dr. Subramaniam, I think with your blessings and uh, with Kavita Ji's blessings, I think these kids will do a fantastic job. Uh, very, very uh, yes. Best wishes to Art and Beat uh, performers. And uh, you can check Dr. Subramaniam. Uh, Dr. Subramaniam also has a Facebook page, Dr. L. Subramaniam and uh, artandbeat.org, it is A-R-T-N-B-E-A-T dot com. It's artandbeat.com. So the program, the concert is on this Saturday, Saturday the August 18th at 6 p.m. at East Brunswick Middle School, JMPAC, the auditorium, the middle school auditorium, the address is 200 Rose Lane, 200 Rose Lane, East Brunswick. So, Dr. Subramaniam, it had been a great pleasure talking I, to you and learning a little bit about uh, your work and how you are using the knowledge, the work that you have been doing, all that you've learned, and now you are giving it to our next generation as well. Very kind of you to say that. It's a pleasure to talk to you. And also, thanks to your mother and sister for their very kind words. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you very much, thanks. Dr. Subramanian. Thank you. Thank you very much.